Hi everyone, this is Imran Emu. I am a freelance website developer. I love to build website using WordPress CMS and Elementor Page Builder. In this course, I will build a website with WordPress CMS and Elementor Pro Page Builder. I would like to show you the website I will build during this course. Here goes the website. Here you can see the header and menu and the slider it was running okay here you can see animated sections here you can see animated features area and about us i just built this website for any business purpose but mainly for those of who are providing seo service but it can be used or modified for any kind of business purpose. Here goes the end of the home page. I would like to show you the services page. Here it is. Here goes the FAQ animated area. And again, I would like to show you about us page. contact page ok just I will build this website during this course and I think it won't be very difficult for you just you will need to have very basic knowledge of WordPress CMS and Elementor page builder after the end of the course I believe you will be able to create any website using WordPress and Elementor page builder. In this lesson, I'll talk about domain name and the hosting account. To build a website and to bring it online, you will need a domain name and a hosting account. A domain name and a hosting account are the different services, but they work together to make your website possible. Actually, the domain name is the address of your website that people type on the address bar here on the address bar to access your website. Say for example, if you would like to access Facebook, you will write facebook.com. So facebook.com is the domain name. And web hosting is the place in a server where all the website files are stored. So they work together to make the website functional. As you are interested to make a website for your business and bring your website online. I will show you how to buy a domain name and a hosting account using SiteGround web hosting provider. You will find a link in the description of this course and if you click on that link then you will be sent here on SiteGround.com. Here you will find the available web hosting packages. Here if I hover over the hosting tab then you can see four options but as we are going to build a WordPress website, so we should click on WordPress hosting. Just click on it and you will find the available packages. The very beginning one, a startup, is $3.95 per month and the Grow Beacon $5.95 per month and the Go Geekon is $11.95 per month. I use this package grow big. The main feature of this package is that we can host unlimited website. Today you have a website but after a few months you may host some other websites then you won't have to buy a new hosting account. So this package is future proof. And why I'm going to use this website because of the technology they use. They use nginx server and their web hosting panel is very lucrative very nice and clean okay what we are going to do just click on this get plan button just click on it and we have completed the first step which choose a plan and now choose a domain name according to your business name you will just choose a name just i'm going to type a domain name called themes built 
as I work with WordPress and create website, so just this theme name, just this website name will represent my website well. And the source for the domain name registration is $15.95 per year. Or if you already have a domain name, just you will choose the second option. I already have a domain name. Just click proceed and this is the final step and step number three and you can see congratulations that means your domain name is available domain name themesbuilt.com is available for registration with your hosting account i mean if you purchase this hosting account and you will purchase this domain name with it and it will be automatically hooked to your server okay so what you will have to do just you will have to put your account information email name password confirm password your address and payment information and here you can see hosting service and the plan is grow big data center you can just choose any data center they have currently four data centers okay and period 12 month or 24 months 36 months and some extra options we have already chosen the domain name domain name privacy if you would like to protect the domain name privacy then you will choose this service and sg site sg site scanner if you want your site will be scanned through their service then you choose it okay and finally click these two options and hit pay now button okay once you have purchased this hosting package you will be sent several emails through your respective email you add here and you will be sent the instructions to access this website okay once you have got everything in your email and if you are just okay with everything then click on this link login okay if you click on this login you will find this login form i have already logged in so i'm going to show you the dashboard of siteground hosting here is the interface of siteground hosting i have logged in with my username and password and here you can see home website service billing referral marketplace areas but as we will build our website using WordPress CMS and Elementor page builder what we will have to do we will have to access this section websites but you will have to check everything here if you would like to just uh, okay so we are going to click on well I'm going to click websites here you can see my domain name pointed to this server and here goes available extras options and the domain names okay if I would like to access this domain name control panel then hit this site tools button okay here you can see all the options we need in the next lecture I will show you how to install WordPress CMS using this interface so by this time I hope you will be able to access your site ground hosting dashboard and you will find everything like this in this lecture we will learn how to install wordpress cms on your server in this training i'll use site ground hosting i have provided a link in the course description if you click on that you will be sent to siteground.com and in the previous lecture i showed you how to purchase a domain name and a hosting account so it's time to just sign in here on site ground and you will find this interface okay i hope by this time you are here and you can see this following navigation menus so just click on websites and here you will find the domain name you have added to your site ground hosting account and hosting plan and some other features but i would like to click on site tools well here you will find all the tools you need to 
install WordPress CMS on the server. So you can see site and here you can see file manager, FTP accounts, app manager, MySQL, PostSQL and security options, speed, WordPress, domain, emails, statistics and dev tool. Okay, so we are going to install WordPress and I'll click install and manage under WordPress menu. Just click install and manage. And here you can see install and manage WordPress. Okay, install new WordPress. Here you will see two options WordPress and WordPress plus WooCommerce. If you would like to build any e commerce website, then you will select this option. I'm going to select this option, just only WordPress. And here you will find all the domain names you have pointed to this server. But I would like to install it on the dev server here you can see dev.themescore.net so what you will have to do just select the domain name or subdomain name you would like to install in and keep this installation path default and here you can see install the starter plugin for quick setup and selection of tools of tools and themes i don't need this and here you can see admin info this info will be used to access your WordPress website later. Just choose an username. In case I'm going to choose just a, just a default username. And I'm going to save this information in a notepad. And here click on this button generate to generate a password. You can view the password or you can change the password anytime. Okay. And then you just click on copy to copy the password and just save your password in a text editor. I'm using Windows machine. So I'm using Notepad. And here goes the email address option. You will put an email address that you will always maintain because your site information will be sent to that email address. I'm just going to use my email address. Okay. That's all. It's pretty simple to install WordPress CMS on SiteGround hosting interface. Just pretty simple. You will just need this. You won't have to create any database yourself. Database user password and point the username to that database. These things are not necessary here. Just pretty simple as you could see. Just click install. Now it's under process. Okay, you could see WordPress is installed on this domain name. So from here you can go to the control panel or visit the site. If you click on this control panel, then you will be redirected to the WordPress dashboard. Okay, but we will access it manually. Here goes the domain name and I'm just going to click on this re reload page and I'm just going to reload this page and here you can see the brand new WordPress site just I have installed right now. So what I'm going to do now just I'm going to show you how to access the dashboard of WordPress website and we will start building our expected website like this. So through this course, we will turn this empty website into a professional looking business website like this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do, just click here. Anyway, uh, you might wondering how to access the dashboard. Just here goes the domain name dev.themescode.net and after that put slash 
and put login and you will be sent here on this login interface so you remember i used this username when i installed wordpress just put the username here and put the password you can check remember me then you won't have to put the username password again and again just hit login and here goes the dashboard of wordpress website from here we will manage the site so if this is the first time don't worry just everything is pretty simple building a website using wordpress is really fun and easy what i'm going to do just hover over here on my wordpress just hover over here and click visit site in a new tab you will see the site interface once you have logged into your site and you will always see this black bar and you will get options to easily access any part of wordpress dashboard here you can see dashboard theme wizards menu customize and if you want to create a post media page you are an user you can create from here just it's a short link okay that's all we could successfully install wordpress cms in this lecture i'll show you how to access the dashboard and i'll introduce the menu and every options of dashboard and i'll show you how to set up wordpress just basic settings of wordpress so okay so let's see how to access the dashboard here you can see uh, the domain name on the address bar and after the domain name you will type slash login or you can slash or you can type wp hyphen admin and hit enter okay then you will be sent to the login page of your dashboard and what i'm going to do i'm going to put the username and password here well here goes the username here goes the password just check remember me if you don't like to put the username and password again and again just hit login and here goes the brand new dashboard although i introduced it in the last video when i installed wordpress okay and this is called the left sidebar menu and this is the right part on the left side you will see all the menus and the first one you can see wordpress and if you hover over here you will see site and home update if you go click home and you will be redirected to the home page and if you click updates and here you can see all the updations you need as we installed this wordpress right now so there is no updation required and the next menu is posts and if you hover over it and you will see several sub menu all post add new categories and tags just click on all post and here you will find all the post and anyway this video is for the beginners those of who just uh, accessed the dashboard of wordpress for today or just watching this video and if you already have learned any everything about this just skip this video and if you click on this add new then then you will be able to create a post here goes the options to add post add title here goes the here you will add the content and you will publish if you write something just i'm going to type test post and here you can see 
the options to publish it and here you will be able to add content say for example I'm just going to get this beautiful piece of content add here publish again and view the post here it is and here you can see media and in the website you will use images videos and just the media library you will find every media here and if you would like to add an image just you will have to click here and you will be able to add images and again pages here goes all the pages by default I have two pages but here you can see on the website I have several pages but we will create pages later from here and comments if anybody leave any comment in your blog post you will find here and appearance appearance in this section you will be able to add or delete themes and this appearance will be maintained by WordPress theme I mean how your content will be represented that will be defined by WordPress theme your WordPress theme will just represent your content it has several sub menu customize wizards menu theme editor and finally plugins here you will be able to install or delete plugins plugins will just add any extra functionality by default you will get a simple WordPress website if you would like to sell any products online using your site then you will have to add a plugin to enable this functionality if you would like to enable your site for booking just you want to create a hotel booking website then you will have to add plugin to enable these functionalities so simply plugins just help you to add functionality and users all users and some tools okay and settings okay here you can see help option you will find respective help and if I go back to the dashboard here you will see the first banner and at a glance you have to post one comment on page and WordPress related activities and here goes WordPress event and news okay and here you can see a screen option if you click on it you will find many options if you would like to disable this just click here then that is disabled 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 but again you can add this just check this box okay I think it won't be very difficult to maintain your website using WordPress now I'm going to show you some basic settings just click on settings and you will find several settings general writing reading discussion media permalink and privacy first of all general and here you can see site title this title is very important because it will represent shortly your website and site tagline say for example this is a website and this website is built for those of who are providing SEO service mainly so for the site title you can put your domain name if your domain name is just uh, best SEO you will type sorry best SEO and in the tagline you can say we provide best SEO service this is a site address this one is the actually your website address and this one will be used for WordPress dashboard and email address membership 
anyone can register if you just build any website for subscription or membership management website just check this box okay and new role what will be the role of a newly registered member contributor site language time zone date format and time format and your week starts on monday or sunday as um my week start on sunday but you can just change it anytime just hit save changes so now you can see it changes and the next setting is writing default post category and default post format here you will see several post format post via email okay and let's see reading from here you will be able to set the default home page display which page will be displayed on the home page although we haven't created any page so we couldn't set it right now but i will back to this setting again and finally i'm just going to skip these two discussion and media okay next one is discussion here you will just uh, set up the discussion section i mean commenting section you can see attempt to notify any block links from your article blah blah just self explanatory you will read and just check and check every setting once you are done hit save changes next one is media here you will manage the image size the thumbnail image size media size large size and permalinks permalinks will be the link style of your website say for example if i click on services and here you can see it added services after the domain name if i click on about us it added about us after the domain name so if you would like the permalink style as i have set to this website then you should go with post name just check this box post name and hit save changes so by now we have completed the basic settings of wordpress in this lecture i will show you how to install a theme and the theme will just represent the content of your website now you see the content isn't presented very well just it's messy so i'm just going to install a free theme the so what i'm going to do from the dashboard i'm going to hover over the appearance and you see several sub options so just click themes and here you can see three themes 2019 2017 2016 and this one is the activated theme right now and i can install any new theme and activate that on or i can switch to any theme later so to install a theme what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on add new and here you can see all the theme listed here from wordpress theme directory but if you purchase any theme from any marketplace then you will have to click here this option upload theme but i'm going to click to popular tab and here you can see hello elementor theme actually we are going to design the website using this elementor page builder so this theme is developed by elementor also that's why i have chosen this theme and finally i'm just going to click on install now it's a very lightweight theme and it installed now click on here activate button and this theme is activated if i reload this page here you can see the difference 
okay now you can see hello elementor is activated now the number of now i have four themes well once we have installed the theme here you will see the option customize just click on it to customize this theme okay here you can see site identity we have already changed it but from here we will just change the logo at the moment we don't have any logo so just click here set logo and site icon firstly start with the select logo and here you can see a pop-up window and through this window you will see all the media assets you have at the moment we don't have any image or anything else so what I'll have to do just come back to the the tab upload files and hit select file or I'm just going to drag and drop any file here I have the logo so just click on it drag and drop here the logo has been uploaded select it and here it says crop image if you would like to crop your image but i don't like it i have already resized the logo using photoshop just skip cropping here you can see the logo is added here but i'm going to use the logo as site icon so select site icon click on here click here just skip cropping and now here you can see a uh, icon and here you can see there is no icon but if I reload it later then you will find it just hit publish get back again and here you will find navigation we haven't created any navigation menu so just up to this much for now just click on it and we will be sent to the dashboard again and if I re reload this page here you can see logo and the site icon in this lesson we will learn how to install Elementor page builder okay as we are going to build this website using Elementor Pro page builder so what we will have to do just we will have to purchase the Elementor page builder if you already have the pro version of Elementor Pro that's great if you don't have you will find the link of Elementor page builder in the course description just click on that link and you will be sent here okay once you have come here just see the pricing option and here you will find three different pricing option if you would like to build a single website then you should go through this package $49 per year or you just want to build on more websites then this package will be good for you and if you are a web developer or if you want to run any agency for web development then you should go through the next one I mean the third one okay as you are going to build a website then you should start with this personal one just click on buy now and here is the checkout page you can select the payment method and finally if you click on checkout here you will find the pop-up to add your card number card expiry date and CBC okay once everything is done click on pay button okay once you have purchased this page builder then you will find every details in your email or you will just come back and here on this menu my account and you will sign in to Elementor page builder website here goes my account I have just logged into Elementor page builder and it's my.elementor.com and from here I'll be able to download the plugin okay just click on download button and it will start downloading automatically okay the plugin has been downloaded and here it is so I'm going to 
well i have logged into my dev website and here you can see plugins and click on add new and upload plugin i'm just going to give the plugin from my download folder just leave here and hit install now hit activate the plugin okay one thing you should know that elementor has a light version on wordpress plugin directory just click on the plugins and type elementor hit enter here it is elementor page builder okay the light version and the pro version work together if you install the pro version you will also have to install the light version just just here you can see install elementor now here you can see elementor pro is not working because you need to install elementor base plugin so just click here active the plugin that's great here is the welcome page of elementor page builder i'm just going to click here and you will be here so once you have successfully installed the elementor pro and elementor light version then here you will see connect and activate you will have to activate this plugin and you can see elementor page builder menu is here template here okay just i'm going to connect it and activate it just click on it okay then connect and activate your license hit connect and here you can see license setting status active okay so again go back to the dashboard and by this time we have installed elementor page builder the free version and the pro version and we have activated it license has been activated successfully now what we are going to do we are going to create some pages now here you can see pages we will create several pages the home page services page about page and contact page just from the dashboard here you can see pages all pages and click on add new and here you will put the title of the page home and hit publish again create new services hit publish and again create another page the last page well let's see all pages we have this following pages we don't need sample page or privacy policy page right now just check these two page and from the bulk action move to trash hit apply now we have four pages so what we are going to do we are going to add these four pages to the menu here we don't have any menu so what we are going to do just under appearance click on menus now here we will create a menu and the name 
is by default main one but I'm going to rename it to my main menu and here you can see a button create menu just click on it and make this menu the primary one save menu and reload this page and here you can see our pages the home is two times because this one is the custom link we will remove it and we will bring our home here first and services second about us third contact us fourth just hit save changes reload this page again and here you can see our menu okay in this lesson we will build a header like this one on our development site here it is okay and we will learn how to work with elementor page builder and we will configure some basic settings of elementor page builder so let's get to be started here i'm on the dashboard and you have probably installed elementor page builder watching the previous videos okay now the question is how to work with this plugin just once you have created any pages although we created these pages in the last video or just you can create any page through the elementor page builder here you can see the short code here you can see the shortcut create a page and elementor overview okay once you have any page or you create any page you will find this option edit and if you edit the page and on the editing window you will find edit with elementor if you click on it and it will open up the editing page okay and if you would like to quit that just here you can see on the left bottom you will see gear icon and just click on it and here you can see exit to dashboard and if you click on it you will again be sent to the dashboard so just uh, hit edit with elementor page builder and if you think you have completed the designing task then just hit this update button and click on this hamburger icon and you will find view the page or exit to dashboard okay just view the page so you could learn how to launch the elementor page builder and exit it okay um in the another way when you are locked in and if you visit any page you will find this edit with elementor just click on it then this elementor page builder will open up now i would like to show you some basic settings just click on this hamburger icon and here you will see the settings default color look at this page we have used three or four colors you can just click on this default color and this colors are the primary color so i'm going to choose the default color from here and the color value i would like to add is three four three four okay i like this color so i have added it and for the accent color here i have the color code but i just want this color so just click here and get the color code I have used a Google Chrome extension its name color pick and get back here I'm going to put the color code here here it is once we are done just hit apply and go back again here you will see default fonts in this 
website I used popping fonts and just Google it. And you will find more details about it here. It's a Google font Poppins. I used this font. So we will just make this font default. So how can we do that? Just as I showed you here you can see default fonts and for primary headline we will just search for it and select it and weight of headline I would like to make it 700 and secondary headlines font will be poppins 500 and body text you can choose any font from here in this google fonts area just uh, search any font okay i'm just going to search google font here here you will find a lots of fonts available and if you like this font say for example Lato just get the name and search for here I am going to show you Lato and here it is for the body text you can choose Lato any font you like just from this page fonts.google.com you will find font and search here and make it default if we do these little things then we won't have to choose the font again and again okay but i like poppins ascending fonts poppins hit apply and again click here and here you can see color picker For color picker, we will use several color, this color again, just instead of black, we won't need this color anymore. Okay, we won't need this color, just we are going to use this code and we are going to use another code for this one okay now what we have done we have just uh, ready now we are ready to start designing just uh, we did some pre-process of the task just hit apply again click here and here you can see global settings the content width uh, here you can see the content width from here to there 1200 pixel we are going to set up here content with 1200 okay just click here now we are done with the settings so we are going to back to the page and just click here and exit to dashboard so header is the first part of the website so we would like to start building the header now go to the dashboard and here you can see all the 
menu and sub menu of elementor just go to the templates and start with theme building why we will start with theme building because this header part will be common for all the pages if you visit any page you will find this part very common although you can use different header for different pages but in this training i kept everything same so we will just build this part now just from the dashboard go to templates and click on theme builder here you can see theme builder you can build any header footer single page archive page but i would like to start with header here you can see create your first header so click this button header and choose a name for the header just click on this create template button and once you click on this button you will be sent to the editing page of elementor page builder here you can see the library pop up and you can work with any pre-made default header template but we would like to start from the beginning so that we can learn how to build we are going to just close it and here you can see okay just uh, click on this plus sign to add any row just one row with three columns because one column for logo one column for navigation and another column for social icon three column row okay okay just add the element in this part just for the first one we will add logo so here you can see site logo just drag and drop here here goes the logo you can see uh, all the columns have equal width but i can drag and drop to minimize or maximize the width this is enough for the logo but here we will add the navigation just click on it and search for any widget but we will we can see nav menu is here just drag and drop here okay and main menu is selected make it align left center left okay we will fix it later and now here we will add the social media icon just click on this plus sign and search for social just drag and drop here okay but the look is different okay just added the content I'm just going to resize it that's perfect so I would like to start designing with the logo just click on this pencil icon and here you can see uh, the image size is full alignment is left left or center but as it will be there on the left part you should align it left okay then it will be just on the left side and caption we don't need any caption for the logo and link that's you can add the custom link at the moment it has the site url if anyone click on this logo they will be redirect to the home page okay and go to the style tab here you can see width you can minimize or maximize the width okay but if you have the logo resized with any image editor you won't have to touch then your there's setting options okay but if you have any unresized logo then you can minimize or maximize the width from here just drag and drop okay resize it 
ओके एंड ऑफासिटी यू कैन सेट द ऑफासिटी ऑफ द लोगो एंड यू कैन एड सी एस एस फिल्टर बॉर्डर टाइप यू कैन एड बॉर्डर बट आई डोंट लाइक एनी बॉर्डर फॉर द लोगो यू कैन एड बॉक्स शेडो एंड फॉर द एडवांस स्टेप यू कैन एड मार्जिन पेडिंग टू द लोगो ओके जस्ट हिट पब्लिश ओके नो वेल नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर द नेविगेशन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस पेंसल आइकन ओके द ऑपोसिटी शुड बी ऑन नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर दिस नेविगेशन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस पेंसल आइकन and you see it's on top but we will have to add some padding to make it on the middle okay just go to the style advance on padding just unlink it just click here first to make it unlink just for padding on top i'm going to use 60 no 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 we are going to add 20 or 24 so it's centered and here you can see the color is different the hover color so how can we do that just go to the style again and here you can see pointer width now it's bold but make it default 2 or 3 pixel 2 3 3 is best and horizontal padding you can just make much more padding ओके वार्टिकल पेडिंग स्पेस बिटुईन एंड फर द टाइपोग्राफी हियर यू कैन सी ऑन हाबार कलर जस्ट क्लिक ऑन हाबार एंड टेक्सट कलर दिस कलर this color comes from here e8 at last this one and for the pointer color click on this one both text color and the pointer color will be same here you can see pointer color and text color are same and we should just minimize the size of this pointer so just go to the style and go to the content pointer overline pointer underline animation slide here you can see or you can customize slide or grow grow okay go to the style again just minimize the padding drop down toggle button as we don't have any drop down menu so this options are not for us just uh, go to the advanced option
well let's see how to change the color it's quite a bit black and just a style go to the normal and hit text color we can just set this color okay now we are going to design this social icon just click on the pencil icon as google plus isn't available so we are going to just remove it and add new one just click on this icon select all icons and search for linkedin and this one you can also change this fonts also just for facebook just click on it and select all icons and you can choose this one and for twitter just click here select all search for twitter and you have only two option but this one is good just insert you can add more icon just click add item wordpress okay now the color here you can see different color and different size so what you will do just here on the style tab under social icon just click on style and here you can see color is official color but i like custom color and you will have two colors primary color and secondary color just click on it choose this color and secondary color is white but the size is the issue so the font size 18 okay here you can see but i should just bring it here and alignment okay anyway here you can see icon hover color primary color you can select this color hover animation just pulse here you can see the pulse nice pulse go to advance add some padding on top just unlink the values i'm going to use not 50 25 no not 25 24 okay okay 26 works better and again go to the style go to the content and for the alignment i would like to set it to right or left it's up to you but here you can see it's on right but if you have many pages on your site then you can make it to right alignment then because you will need more space just drag and drop here to make some room for this navigation as we are working with just four pages so just i'm going to use it here okay but one thing i can do for you just i'm going to add another column here just add new column here you can see new column and i can add source icon source form this one 
type icon or text icon size okay this size is good skin classic minimal full screen classic best style text color background color button color just button background color will be this one and text color is fine what I'm going to do this what I'm going to do now just uh, add some padding on top just unlink here I'm going to add 26 okay now everything is here but for navigation okay using any page builder you can easily build a website but elementor is much more easier so that's why i decided this and now what you can do just click this button publish on the bottom and you will add condition because we want this header to be visible to all pages just add condition entire site save and close okay by this time we have designed our header and this header will be visible to all of our pages that's what we have done during this time so let's see how to check it just click on this hamburger icon and here exit to dashboard and go to the theme builder you will find this header we have built main header okay you can anytime edit it or delete it or you can view it here it is or you can just export it now what I'm going to do go to all pages and view all the pages you will see it everywhere now okay that's cool in this lecture i'll show you how to create this slider on the home page here you can see beautiful slider it shows on the home page only but if you navigate to the services page you won't see the slider just the slider on the home page okay so here i'm on the development side and just I'm going to navigate to the pages all pages and here goes the home page but at the moment if I click on this site and here you can see something like this I would like to set this page as a home page so previously you could see reading setting and here you can see your home page display and check this box just click on this radio box and select a page for home page we would select home and save changes now again visit the site you will find something like this okay so we can just create the slider just from here as we are locked in we can see the edit with elementor but we can either way go to the all pages and edit home page and here from here you just click on edit with elementor i'm going to remove all other pages so here it is and firstly what i'll do just click on this setting gear icon and page layout i'll choose the page layout to Elementor full width okay Elementor full width now hit update and I'm going to 
start building this slider okay just if you would like to make any section or make any design what you will have to do just you will just click on this plus sign or click on this add template sign just if you click here you will find the pre-made web pages you can start building your website using this pre-made website but you will do it later firstly i'm going to show you how to build from the scratch so that you have the idea how to work with elementor i'm not going to use any template just to remove it okay so what i'm going to do click on this plus sign and search for slider you will see slides and image carousel but we will use these slides just hold it drag and drop here and it will by default create a slider for you okay nice but it's not full width you can see the preview just hit update and click on this link here you will see the preview but it should be here here just full with slider so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this edit section button so that we can change the layout and the first here you can see edit section just be attention edit section and here you can see content width boxed but i will make it full width now you can see it's full width and here you can see column gap it should be no gap and height minimum height and here you can see bh vertical height will be i'm going to put it 60 or 70 so what it will do sorry we won't do any setting here just leave it blank we will manage the height from the slider section just our job is done with the edit section just hit update now if we see preview it's full width okay now what i'm going to do just click on this pencil icon on the corner and you can see edit slides click on it okay now you can see width you will just edit from here and here you can see bh and click on it the first one is pixel and sex next one is bh vertical height and i'm going to place here only 70 70 that's mean 70 percent of the screen that's fine just like this one or you can make it 80 if you like it's up to you but 75 is good just hit update now what i'll do i'll just add this background images okay just i'm going to remove this color and add image so just click on this first one then you can see first tab is background second tab is content and third one is style okay just change the background i'm going to remove the color just uh, default color and change images okay just i'm going to add image from here click on this choose image button and i don't have images right now so what i'm going to do i'm going to 
get these three images just drag and drop here let's see the first image this one is the first image okay this on just insert media now you can see it changes very cool and the size should be covered and can burn effect can burn effect is just the image will zoom in or zoom out that's fancy effect just enable can burn effect and the effect will be first on zoom in or zoom out okay zoom in and background overlay now you can see the color of the image but i would like to add some background overlay color and just turn on it and choose the color black color and here you can see just drag and drop it to get your preferred overlay color okay and blend mode is normal okay what i'm going to do next just change this text so i will have to move to the content part the title just the text button text and the link that links mean if somebody click on this button where will it be just i'm going to choose this facebook page link apply link on whole slide or just only button just button only okay then navigate to the style tab to style it okay i'm going to enable the custom style so horizontal position left vertical positions middle text alignment left and content color is white as usual and text shadow i don't need any text shadow that's all just get back to the background and click on this first slide okay what i'm going to do just i'm going to remove this default slides okay i don't need this and i need to design this button at the moment okay now click on this slides style tab then you can see content width you can make it 100% but i would like to request you to make it 80% okay and padding just i'm going to unlink it add some padding for right 40 pixel and for left 40 pixel okay and here you can see styling for title just you can add the text color and go to the typography 
and size should be 46 okay 46 and weight would be just 700 transformation will be capitalized or you can make it uppercase but capitalize is best okay and line height the default line height is great okay and letter spacing good now take care of the description spacing we can make some space and text color is white by default and default font family now go to the button and here you can see button size is a small but we can make it medium text color is white button background color should be this color button border color will also be this color and border radius 8 pixel to make it no 8% just add some more here it is 26 okay now go to the slides you can add more padding on right or you can just minimize the content width okay it's good now go to the advanced part if you need you can add some margin padding etc and motion effect I don't need any motion effect for the slides but we have missed something just go to the style go to the content again and here you will find slide option but we will back to the slide option again here you can see we have three slides so what we will do just go to the slide and I will duplicate this click click here to duplicate now I have three slides just I'm going to hit update okay now we are going to see the preview and we have some issue with the slider you can see the content is here aligned but our demo website the content is on the middle so how to solve it just edit the slides click here go to the style and here you see horizontal position make it center update and go to another one just go to style horizontal position center update and go to the third one go to the style and horizontal position center that's all now we are going to add this animation so how can we do that just go to the slide option and content animation zoom hit update and if you reload it just go back here you can see zoom okay so that's all and now here you can see the navigation arrows and dot here you can see dot and on the bottom you can see here you can see arrow and here you can see dots so just what we are going to do we are going to keep the both or you can keep only arrows okay we are going to keep both arrows and dots and 
just go to the slide styling again and you will find bottom button and navigation and arrow position inside or outside but it should be inside arrow size you can just keep the arrow size 36 and dots inside and dot size should be just 16 or 15 and dots color we will use this color and hit update now finally we can see our slider but it's still on issue we have we will have to limit here the text will be break after this part so how can we do that just go to the content go to the style here it is just the content width should be 60 then hit update now see the changes okay here it is and some options you can check the slide go to the content and slide option here you can see the transaction is slide but you can make the transaction to fade just change it to fade and hit update now it will fade instead of sliding okay so uh, i think we could just uh, create this slider in this lecture i will show you how to change the background image of every slider okay so let's see how to do that okay here i'm on the dashboard and from the pages i'm going to access all pages and here you see home page and edit with elementor now here you can see the pencil icon and if you mouse hover over here you will see edit slides so just click on it and here you can see i have three slides but i didn't change the background image of two other slides this one and this one okay what i'm going to do just click on this second on and here you can see the background image just click on choose image and i will set this on okay just insert media okay now you can see the different background image just click on it and again click on the third one and click on choose image and select this one insert media okay again i'm going to do something else just click on this first one and here you can see zoom direction in for ken burn effect and come to the second one and you should make it zoom out okay and uh, if you would like to change the what should i say just uh, the title come here i can change it okay just go to the content tab and click here and here you can see it changes in the same way you can change the link assigned to this button okay and go to the style tab you can just bring it to the here or middle and you can change the button color okay that's all this was a very short video to just show you how to change the background image of every slide in this lecture i will show you how to create this feature section so let's get to be the developer side at last we were here so here you can see the red or pink button plus sign and if you click on this button a new section will be created okay 
and here you can see a section or a row with three columns okay what i'm going to do just click on it and it will show up a option of your layout structure here you can see two column three column and i'm going to create on it now we have got a section with three column so let's get to be started first of all click on this plus sign and here you can see just scroll down or search here info search for box here you can see icon box just drag and drop here okay and we will start building something like this okay just click on this here you can see content tab is opened and you will be able to change the icon here you can see the icon now i'm going to click here and click all icon and here i will search for graph and chart here it is okay and the title is free domain analysis Here I will change the title. Okay. And now the icon color. Okay. I have set up the content. Now I would like to style it. So let's move to the style tab. And first of all icon. Icon color. The primary color of the icon is this. Here you can see and size just increase it okay the size is 80 you can add space around the icon and let's see the content the title color is the default color we set and the font is the default font and you can also change it if you want here you can see already the font is added okay and size the default size you can just overwrite the default size but i'm going to start it from the beginning the default size is 33 okay 31 or 30 pixel now anything else okay just click on here alignment content alignment left or center vertical alignment middle title spacing add some space color you can change the color this color and description color description typography we have already set the default size and font family so we don't need to edit this okay and i think we should make it a bit bigger so go to the icon and size should be 100 100 looks cool okay it's fine now i could show you how we can just uh, create the section okay just and now here you can see this pencil box just right click on it and you will find copy and come here click and paste click here and paste so we could easily just duplicate the any section part 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this icon and text link explorer here I'm going to click on it and just type and change the icon here search for link and this one is tool tools for browser just click on it changing search for tool here goes it just hit insert okay now I'm going to change it that's cool but one thing you should see there is a padding on top and on bottom so here there is no padding so what we should do just click here just follow my mouse cursor and you will find edit section click on edit section and edit section panel open up go to the advanced tab and here just click on this link to just unlink it now on top we should add 60 and on the bottom add 80 okay now it looks like this one so we could successfully created this section just hit update in this lecture I will create this about us section so let's go here I left they are in the last video so again I'm going to click this button to create a section and this time I'll create two column section okay or two column row click on it here it is and you can see I have images here and text here okay just click on it and click on image again click on image and put another image so I have two images and on the right I will add this text just come over here just click on it to get the wizards just the title here and I'm going to write about us and HTML tag will be H1 or H2 okay then add, just click here and add a divider add icon ok change the icon ok and mission and vision just click here and just icon box click icon box here okay so we are going to start designing this okay firstly just we are going to change the images just click on it and click here on the content and change image we don't have this images just I'm going to get the images from here just get this image and get this image insert media and for this one just 
click on here just to get this image what we are going to do we are going to overlap the second image onto the first image so just going to edit this image and go to the advanced tab we are going to click on custom positioning and position will be absolute now here you can see offset bar just bring it here and vertically offset bar mm -hmm. Mm. okay that's all just I selected the position absolute and just made some horizontal offset and vertical offset okay now what I'm going to do going to the border tab and I'm going to put some border radius just click on it top border radius okay and write 140 get back to the style we are done with the custom positioning and here you can see border radius just click on it and for the top on zero and write 100 percent or you can make here 140 and bottom 40 and to left 60 that's cool you can also add border to the first image the on in the below okay that's all with this image but here you can see the main column just click on it and go to the advance and here you can see motion effect and entrance animation will be fade in hit update now it's time for this part here you can see click on about and s2 by default the font is Poppins, okay. Just go to the typography. It's Poppins. Already we have selected. Now you can increase or decrease the size. I think fifty six is best, or forty six. 45 46 is enough now let's see the divider click on it divider style is solid which is 100 percent but we will make it just as long as about us and alignment left let's go to the style we are going to change the color this color and the width i mean with this tree okay this one and gap if you need any gap just you can increase or decrease but i don't need the gap okay just to make it zero now let's style this the middle one icon icon primary color is this one same color and position you can change position okay you can add any spacing that's cool okay hit update now this time we are going to work with this one just click on it and here you can see the icon we are going to add this train icon just train and 
icon position left okay and the title will be mission icon link color you can sorry icon link you can add any icon link here let's see how to the style let's see the style option and primary color this color size will be 100 or for this case 80 would be best okay the content content color title color this color description color that's all now here you can see we have also vision what I'm going to do just click here to make it duplicate pretty simple just now click here change the icon and fake now I'm going to write here vision just copy it paste here okay now here you can see it has a nice background color also in the section so what I'm going to do just click on it and get the color just I'm going to add background color for the section so what I'm going to do I'm going to click here on this edit section and just uh, go to the advance sorry go to the layout go to the style here you can see background and I'm going to add the color code here and you can see the color is applied now go to the advanced tab and click here to unlink and for the top I'm going to add 60 for the bottom I'm going to add 60 pixel or for the bottom I should add a bit more 100 pixel and hit update now finally we could complete the about section in this lecture I'll show you how to create this form so that your visitor can send their website URL to you and you will give feedback about their website SEO quality so let's get to get started in the last video I left here and I'm going to create a section now just click on it and it will be one column section just uh, here it is just click on the plus sign and you see widgets list will be appear here and search form and search for form and here you can see the form just click drag and drop here and here you can see the form but you know this one is very different but we are going to make it just remove the message and what I'm going to do click on this pencil icon go to the style part and go to the field go to the button go to the message and go to the form okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to bring two input field side by side and also the button just click here and type text and I'm going to select I'm going to set it to URL okay and this is required field and column width 
okay uh, let's make a calculation this area is 100 percent and if i make it 40 percent 40 percent so 80 percent and 20 percent for this so in total 100 percent width okay so i'm going to make it 40 percent here you can see and here goes the level name i don't need that level okay again click here and it's not name it will be website url and the email address click on it just uh, click on the email and content column with 40 percent here you can see and again go to the submit button and column width will be 20 percent now everything is going to, to be smoothly here you can see free guide so i'm going to change it here free guide okay what i'm going to do i'm going to add this image on the background and i'm going to add this title i forgot to do this okay just uh, click in this icon i don't know what it is called just click here and now you will find the wizards just drag and drop here and type here free website audit and text alignment will be center and the color is white and a style text color white at the moment you can't see that because of the background color so what i'm going to do i'm going to add the background image and overlay color just click here go to the style and you will find background and i will have to add the image here goes the image drag and drop here insert media and here you see so first so now we are going to manage the height of this section here goes it that go to the advanced and go to the layout you will see height height is minimum height 300 pixel or 350 okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to add this overlay color just uh, going to the style again and here you can see overlay color and i'm going to add overlay color this color and i'm going to just make the opacity more darker okay again go back to the background and here you can see position center center and attachment fixed and size will be covered repeat no repeat okay just hit update i'm going to see the preview here it is okay just up to this much but 
I'll have to go to the this section just click on it edit form and here you can see action after submit email then if someone submitted then it will send you an email and email field just put the email address here where you would like to receive this email because it will send an email if somebody fill up this form and it will send all the forms all the fields that's all just you will have to add an email address here okay up to this much i hope you could just uh, create any form on your website right now in this lecture we will learn how to create this beautiful our services section okay so let's get to be started we were here in the last video then we are going to build a new section okay just uh, click on it start with the on column row or on column section whatever you say and here always you will see the plus sign just if you click on this plus sign then wizards panel will come up just click on this plus sign and here you can see just click on this header and write it our services what was it our services right just write our services align it to center and again click here add okay what i'm going to do i'm going to just here you can see i don't need to create this divider every time what i will do i will just copy and paste here just click on it i'm going to just uh, make some space okay just fine and now i'm going to click on it right click on it just copy and here i'll just right click and paste okay it's very beautiful and very easy to design or develop a website using page builder so just click on it and you can see the divider window and bring it to center and i'm just going to adjust the width according to our text just uh, content width okay perfect now we are going to add this section oh here i have text also what i'm going to do again click here text editor and just go to the style bring it to center and i'm just going to remove some text i don't need all of this okay that's cool just hit update click here and now i'm going to use or add this icon box just search for icon box and here you can see the icon box and just duplicate sorry i did a mistake just delete this actually it's a mistake what i'll have to do i'll have to add inner sections because i'll have to add three sections okay and just hold inner section drag and drop here now you can see two section and click here add new column so now you have three column section and click on this plus sign and get the info box icon box just 
जस्ट आइकॉन बॉक्स ओके द फर्स्ट आइकॉन इज दिस एंड द टेक्स्ट इज सर्च इंजिन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन जस्ट क्लिक हियर एंड चेंज द आइकॉन सर्च फॉर सिग्नल and this icon its signal insert it and go to the style go to the content title make some space and typography size okay 23 23 pixel is good okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to change the icon style just content style here on the icon you will see primary color now click on it and this one is the color primary color Go to the content view is stuck framed it is stuck not framed stuck and go back to the style and you will see secondary color add this color sorry 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 control this one will be this color and primary color will be this no mistake mistake this one will be this color this one will be this color and the secondary color will be green again now click on primary color and make it transparent okay that's cool and go to the sizing of the icon and icon size will be 80 percent 80 pixel and you can add padding add padding okay spacing that's all here you can see here it is now what i'll do i'll just click on this pencil icon and right click copy right click paste right click paste here it is and now what i'm do now i'm going to click here and hit duplicate and it will duplicate the row okay that's cool now what i'm going to do i'm just going to change this icon and text social media marketing come here click here change the icon the icon is users this icon and the text will be social media marketing again website development code insert no 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 just change this to just filter by name 
this one and the next one is ppc management click here change the icon mouse icon just search engine optimization video marketing just click on here just YouTube and again website traffic click on this pencil icon click here and line graph sorry and this one okay that's cool now what i'm going to do i'm going to add some space on top and on bottom just click on this section editing option just click on it and here go on the advanced part and just add 64 top and 64 bottom or 84 bottom okay now uh, you could see the animation okay but how will you add animation just uh, click on it and go to the advanced and motion graphic and entrance animation just fade in or you can add bounce in okay just again click on it copy and click on it paste style just paste style paste style paste style paste style that's all and if you would like to add animation here on our service just click on it and go to the advanced part and see motion effect and entrance animation is fading or just bounce in bounce in down bounce in down okay you can also add animation to this one just go to the advanced motion effect <coughs> entrance animation fading so everything is very easy i think you could follow my training so that's all for this section our services in this lecture i will show you how to create this pricing section here you can see three pricing plans and i'll just build it okay so we are here at our development site what we are going to do just click here edit with elementor and just scroll down okay in the last video we created this section our services now it's time for this one pricing okay so what i'm going to do click on this button and add a section here it is on column row section just click on this plus icon and it will show up the wizards panel just drag and drop it and change here the text will be pricing okay align it to center great again click here and just drag and drop it
go to the style part and align center anyway we just need this one this divider just click on and copy and click here paste and here you can see automatically we got it now we are going to click here to get the wizards and we are going to add inner section drag and drop here okay and here you can see it has three column so we do need another column just uh, add new column so now we have three column just click here and search for pricing and here you can see the pricing table wizard just drag and drop here and you will find the default pricing table okay but our one is different so what i'll have to do i'll have to remove this color from the title just here you can see the pencil icon if you click on it here you will be see the title so our title is basic add the title and we don't have any description under the title so i'm going to remove it and here you can see ribbon we don't have the ribbon so i disabled the ribbon okay go to the style part and header here just click on it the title header background color just make it white okay and the color of the title just go to the title set this color and you can just increase or decrease the font size of the title that's all and now here you can see a background color on this feature section just click on features here you can see features and just click on the background color just click white okay now i'm going to show you here how can i remove the background color from here just go to the pricing part and put the background color white okay and go to the footer and remove the background color and set to white now we could successfully made this background color white and now just change the price color pricing pricing color this on monthly changing the color of monthly so period color or this on typography font style transform weight should be 700 that's all and I'm going to remove this icon from this feature list so just go to the content and go to the features I'm just going to edit the features and just uh, remove the icon and get these features unlimited websites and you can see a uh, underline so what I'm going to do uh, just probably you will be able to remove it from the style tab just I'm going to add other features remove the icon unlimited data transfer
remove the icon and another feature free wildcard SSL just click here add item and you will be able to add as many features as you want just drag and drop okay that's all and go to the footer part i don't need this text and button text parses i'm going to type the button text here parses and link if the visitor click on your pricing plan button then where we will you send them here is my youtube channel link and i'm just going to drive the traffic to my youtube channel and here you can see the gear icon just click on it and you can just open the link in a new window okay or add no follow that's good so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this underline so go to the style and title color typography subtitle pricing features here you will see the divider just i'm going to turn it off so now it's gone but i'm going to change this color of this feature text just click on it and now this beautiful color well just click on this pencil icon just click on advance and here you can see motion effect just click on it and you will find entrance animation and click on fade in or you can just click on bounce in here by default if you reload if i reload this page and here you can see it slide down so what i can do just make it to slide down but i think uh, bounce off bounce in looks cool okay then go to the background type of background border and here you can see box shadow if you want you can add box shadow as like as this demo but we will add box shadow on hover okay just uh, i'm going to remove the box shadow and finally click on hover effect not the normal just check the hover and here you will find box shadow and click on this pencil icon and when you hover over it then you will find the box shadow but change the color to this green and here you will find the setting options you can increase or decrease the blur you can increase or decrease the spread you can just increase horizontally or increase vertically i have leave with the default settings so just here it is but one thing that i can do i'm just going to reduce the blur okay reduce the blur to 4 sorry 6 okay 6 looks cool that's all so i'm going to hit update again i will play the trick what i will do just click on this pencil icon i mean right click and copy it and i'm just going to paste it on other two column just right click on it and click paste right click on it paste now simply you just come here 
and you can change the title of the plan it's pro so just come here you change it and you change the pricing value okay and you can change the features it's pretty simple just come to the footer you can change the button link or button text if you want and again click here just change it go to the pricing okay you can change the features add new feature go to the button and you can change the link say for example if i would like to add this link just select this link and paste here just hit update i'm just going to click on this icon to preview the update here you can see the changes nice pricing section so friends i hope you could create this section pricing section successfully in this section i'm going to show you how to create our clients and this logo carousel okay here you can see the logo carousel of the clients okay let's see here we just created this pricing section in the last part but we forgot to add the background color okay so i'm just going to cover it and add this carousel section this one okay just uh, here you can see the section editor just click on it and go to the style and here you will find background and background type background color i'm going to choose this color and i'm going to reduce the transparency of that color just this one okay and i'm going to navigate to advance and here click on it to unlink and add some padding on top just 60 pixel and on the bottom 80 pixel that's cool now it perfectly looks like this okay hit update now come here here it is the pricing section now we are going to build this our client section just uh, click here and take one column row okay just click on the plus sign and add heading replace it with our clients okay and here you will see the size default size a small medium okay we actually set this default so we are going to use with the default setting and alignment center go to the advance and motion effect entrance fade in that's good and what i'm going to do just going to copy it okay i'm going to copy it and paste here and again click here just to bring some text and align it to center okay now here you can see this image carousel and i'm going to add this carousel okay again click on this on this icon and search for carousel 
and here you can see image carousel just drag and drop here so in this edit image carousel panel here you can see no image selected what i'll have to do i'll have to add this images so click on it and i don't have this images added here so i'm going to just get this images and just create a new gallery insert gallery and here you can see the images are added now but let's see the settings slides to show six slides here you can see and slides to a scroll four image attests stressed no navigation only arrows link no link caption no caption additional option pause on hover yes autoplay yes and just leave the default setting go to the style and arrow position inside and size just increase the size to 36 or 38 now set the color this color or this color and go to the image a spacing custom spacing or no space no border just uh, go to the content image size full size see the additional option image carousel okay go to the advance and motion effect fade in okay that's cool so what i'm going to do i'm going to add some padding just under advance go to advance and click here to unlink it and on top at 60 pixel on bottom at 80 pixel sorry that was a mistake okay just i'll have to add padding to this section not this carousel okay just go to the advance on top at 60 on bottom at 80 that's cool it was too easy now you can okay what should i say i could simply add carousel here in this lesson i'll create this section and how this section looks just if i reload this page and here you can see it's so funny okay so here we were in the last video now i'm going to click on this button to create a section just three column section or row well click on this plus sign and here you will search for counter okay here it is counter just drag and drop here okay so it's 70 percent and the text is design here start number zero and ending number 70 
percentage and separator and the title is design and go to the style okay get back to the content again here you can see number suffix and I'm going to add percentage okay that's cool so here the color is white because we have a black background and here as we have white background so I can't make the color white so what I'll have to do I'll have to get back to the section editor and add an image so just before I complete this I will have to get back to this section editor again and go to the style and add and background image just click on it and I'll just add an image here this image just drag and drop insert media now here you can see and what I'm going to do I'm going back to layout and height minimum height to okay 400 pixel but again get to the style add background overlay I'm going to add black background overlay color okay now I'm going to increase the opacity to this now we can change the text color and something that I would like to do just go to the layout go to the style go to background and attachment should be fixed and the position center and center no centers top left here it is size will be cover just hit update now I will edit this counter just click on this pencil icon and here it just go to the text color make it white and just for design or title set the text color to white or you can choose any different color okay if you like now it looks almost like this what I'm going to do just click over here just right click and copy and right click on it and paste right click on it and paste just I will change the number here just click on it make it to 50 and the title will be digital marketing you can change the color also now support 85 click here put 85 and the title will be support okay everything looks like this and if you want to add any entrance animation just go to the advance motion effect entrance animation fall in or fall in down okay just none but for the section you can add any entrance animation like or 
are just bouncing if you just like just I'm going to set to none just hit update I'm going to see on the review page here it is okay so that's all about this section in this lecture I will show you how to create this nice contact form okay so let's get to be started in the last video we completed this section and as per usual I'm going to click on this icon plus icon and just going to create this section with one column okay so here you can see section editing panel but I don't need to edit the section right now what I'm going to do I'm going to click on this plus sign and here you will see well you could see once I have clicked on this plus sign the widget search panel opened up so I'm going to search for what just heading just drag and drop here and what I'm going to write contact just uh, paste here and I'm going to align its center okay and what I'm going to do I'm just going to copy this divider just copy and come here and paste it here you can see so we have completed this one now what I'll have to do I'll have to create another inner section with two row sorry two column just I'm going to click on this icon so that I can get the wizards panel and here you can see inner section just drag and drop and by default it creates two column so I, do, I just need also two column and on the left I will just add these things okay just click on here just get a heading and I'm going to duplicate it several times how many times one two three four four times duplicate it and duplicate it I'm just going to get this thing phone number and click here edit phone number but I'm going to select it a6 and go to the style section change the color to this color okay just fine I'm going to edit the next title or heading and I'm going to put this email address just click here and add email address okay then the physical address click here and paste to the text here again okay now I'm just going to get the style of this heading just copy and paste style paste style paste style again I'm going to click on this pencil icon and just going to get to a6 again click here and HTML tag will be a6 click on it and HTML tag will be a6 that's pretty cool so now I'm going to add some social icon so what I'm going to do just click here and search for social and here you can see social icon just drag and drop here sorry just delete it I'll have to just put here social drag it and drop here okay here goes it and alignment will be left 
left shape square okay and just I'm going to add more icon icon is two Pinterest okay and go to the style make the color custom color and primary color will be this okay and manage the size you can anytime increase or decrease the size from here and if you want you can change the hover effect of the color this one okay that's all hit update we have successfully completed this part and now i would like to add a form here so just click on this plus sign and here search for form okay here you can see form just drag and drop here what we have here three input box just name email and message and the send message button okay just click here on this pencil icon to edit this and firstly i'm going to disallow the level okay and just uh, i will have to change the button just here you can see submit button send messages okay and here you can see the button size what i'm going to do going to decrease the button size to 40 percent or 25 percent so it's cool and i'm going to add an email address so that anybody uh, just fill up this form and hit send message button then they can receive the email where you will go just here you can see email section and here you will add your email address where the visitor can send message okay so hit update now i'm going to add some padding on this uh, section where i can do that just here you can see edit section click on it and go to the advanced part just unlink this and on top i will add 60 and on the bottom i will add 100 okay nice so i think it was so easy for you to add this contact form and in the next video we will start creating this service page we all we will just create this footer at the very end of this course okay just uh, hit update now what i'm going to do just uh, i'll start designing the services page okay i'm just going to open up in a new tab just uh, here you can see the service page okay but we see the demo page here goes the service page and we will just turn this page into this page okay and you can see that this section is similar okay in the home page in the home page we have this section and in the service page we just reused it so we don't want to create this section from the beginnings and what i'm going to do i'm going to save this section as a block template so that we can use this block anytime in any page so what i'll have to do just i'll have to click here and right click on it and here you can see save as template just click on it and i can save is i can save it as template just service okay hit save now in the template you can see service and if you hit preview you can see it
okay and i will be able to use this section in any page just close it close it and i'm going to click here and click here just hit exit to dashboard now if you want i can show you the home page we have created by this time this one okay just we didn't create the footer section and we will create the footer just uh, after completing this page services about us and contact okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to navigate to services page and here you can see this page is just empty what i'm going to do just click on this button or link edit with elementor so that we can design it like this okay just go here hit edit with elementor or if you go to the all pages and from here you can also hit edit and edit with elementor you can go either way just hit edit with elementor okay here you can see I'm going to remove it just uh, we will design like this okay now what I'm going to do just go to the settings section and choose the page layout to Elementor full width now you will see the title is gone hit update and first thing first we are going to build this section services we offer just two column row in a section so I'm going to create a new section with two column row here it is and on the left I will add this image and on the right I will okay so what I'm going to do click on this plus sign so that I can see the wizard search option here it is I'm going to search for okay I don't need to search here I can see image just click drag and drop here okay just here click on it and i will have to add that image so i'm going to add this image just to drag and drop hit insert media and here you can see the image and now i'm going to get this title so just click here just drag and drop the heading and write the heading services we offer HTML tag should be ASON and here you can see this text so what I'm going to do just click here just get the text editor drag and drop here okay just uh, align left and click here and to make this list I'll just uh, use the list wizard here you can see icon list just drag and drop here okay and I have five list items okay just going to get this one and just click on here paste here and here you can see the color is green so just go to the style and here you can see icon and icon color select this green color okay and icon size should be okay 20 on or 20 alignment left and the text color will be just the default color okay let's get back to the content and I'm just going to edit this on and write PPC campaign okay what I'm going to do just delete this default to 
and I'm going to duplicate it. That's pretty easy. So PPC campaign. Just now you should change the text only. Okay, that's all. Now go to the style tab. What you can do, you can just uh, align it properly and you can add divider if you want. You can just uh, okay and text color change the text color and go to the advanced tab you can add some effect here okay anyway uh, here you can see a background color on the section and padding what i'm going to do just going to edit the section just hit over here and just go to the style i'm going to choose the background color and this color as usual and I'm going to reduce the transparency of the color just drag down okay here it is and go to the advanced part what I'm going to do click here and add top 60 pixel and bottom 80 pixel that's cool now uh, it has animation effect just if I reload this page yes it slide from left and it slide from right so what i'm going to do just uh, under the advance you can see uh, no just uh, click here okay click here and go to the advance and motion effect you can see entrance effect or entrance animation and here you will find slide in right no slide in left okay again come here go to advance and here you will see motion effect and entrance animation slide right that's cool okay hit update we have successfully completed this part and what i'm going to do just import this our service area okay so this time i'm not going to click on this plus sign i'm going to click on this icon add template just click on add template and here you will find my template and here goes the template service i created very beginning of this tutorial now what i'm going to do click on insert and it says import document setting do you want to also import the document setting of the template yes of course just yes and now now you can see i have created this section within a few seconds okay so in the way you can just uh, create any template as what should i say as any block so that you can use but it replaced our setting of page template here you can see service title again i'm going to get here and just uh, set to elementor full width and hit update cool so now only this section faq is left okay and this time i'll also use a pre-made template just click here use pages blocks and search for faq and which one did I use? Probably I used this one. So just click on preview. And I'm going to check it. Yes, it is. No, I'm just going to check again. FAQ. okay this one maybe so i'm going to insert it and 
here you can see the FAQ. Okay. If you think you have just imported the wrong one, don't worry. You can import it again. Another one. Just uh, this one. Yes, this time I inserted the right one, so I'm going to remove the first one, okay, just this one, okay. So here you see, I have changed the color, it's easy, just uh, click here, and here you can see a style, and title, you can just easily change the title color, here you can see and the title icon okay and just in the same way just click on it copy and paste a style copy sorry paste a style paste a style style paste style okay and i would like to copy this divider just copy it and just uh, paste here okay and if you would like to change i i think you will have to change then just click on this pencil icon go to the content part you can change the title here you can change the icon here okay and it's easy to change everything just click on it and here you can see how to change it okay okay there's all about the service space i'm going to hit update in this video we will learn how to create this about page okay and here I am in the last video I created this service page okay now click on this burger icon and exit to dashboard just go to all pages and here you can see about us just click on edit and edit with elementor Firstly, what I'll have to do, just go to the settings and choose the or select the page layout. Elementor full width. Select Elementor full width and hit update. Then firstly, I will create this section just about us and some text. Okay, just click here. Just click with this one column and what I'm going to do at heading add some text and okay that's all now I'm just going to go to a style section align center or just sorry get back to the content again and select this title I'm going to put about us align center and click here to edit the text okay that's all now here you can see there is a background image and a divider okay what I'm going to do I'm going to just open service page edit with elementor and here you can see this divider click copy and come here click paste okay now I'm going to edit the section so that I can add this image here goes about us just click on this section and go to the style go to the background style 
Click Change Image. This is the image. This one. And okay, that's all. I'm going to choose this image and go to the layout select height to minimum height 400 pixel enough okay and here you can see just go to the style again and attachment will be fixed and position top center or top right center center you will just see we sun fixed or we sun looks cool to you and here you can see background overlay just select the background type and color black minimize the transparency okay that's all for editing the section and what i'm going to do i'm going to change the color of this text just click on here and go to the style text color will be white okay and again change it go to the style white just hit update now we are going to create this section okay just click here go with two column row and first of all add image just click here add this image and on the right just click on the plus sign add heading a word from the company owner change the text here okay and just this divider copy this and come here paste here and click on it to increase the width okay just uh, alignment left okay and click here to add, add some text again sorry okay you can just click here and copy and paste okay finally here you can see the social media icon just uh, click here and search for social just add social icon align left go to the style select custom color okay the color is different so this color and just uh, increase or decrease the size okay an icon hover primary color will be this okay that's all and in the content area if you click on this icon and you can add the link of the respective icon okay just hit update now i'm going to build this section skills we have just come here again and click on this add new section to column okay here i will add progress just progress bar okay here it is 
and what I'm going to do remove this title and inner text is web designer or SEO whatever it doesn't matter just uh, go to the style and here you can see color white no 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 just color will be this okay and percentage is 90 percent if you want to change this text just come here on the content you will see in a text just write SEO okay it's pretty easy and percentage just drag and okay or manually type 90 90 percent okay now what I'll do just click here duplicate 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 and duplicate okay what you will do now just uh, change the text say for example keyword research and click on here and here you will see the text content area you will write keyword research here and increase or decrease the percentage and go to the style part and change the color okay that's all it's easy and go to the next progress bar and 99 you can display the percentage also you can hide or show that a percentage also go to the color and choose color just this color no matter and content text will be keyword research okay in the same way we can quickly just edit other marketing social marketing and click on it change the color to blue or just pink color and here on the last one name it to content marketing percentage go to the style since color okay that's all it was pretty easy I just updated it now what I'm going to do okay what I'm going to do add this just copy it come here add heading and the sorry the heading will be skills we have just paste here and alignment left HTML tag is true color is ok now you can see a divider what I'm going to do copy it and paste here just uh, minimize the width okay and this text okay it's uh, not a big deal just click on here just drag and drop add text add text that's all now what I'll have to do just add padding okay just click on edit section go to the advanced part and click here and on top at 60 percent sorry 60 pixel on bottom 80 pixel 
okay and uh, from here you can add motion effect entrance effect to this whole section or you can individually add motion effect to this column if you would like to add motion effect to this column just click here go to the advanced tab and here you will see motion effect entrance animation just uh, slide in right sorry it will be slide in left just click on here go to advance motion effect entrance effect slide in right okay just hit update again i'm going to edit this section just hit here and go to advance just unsec add padding on top 60 pixel and on the bottom 80 pixel and for this image i'm just going to add motion effect to fade in and for this sorry for this column motion effect fade in that's all just hit update now i would like to add this image work together okay just this section what i'm going to do click here add on column section and firstly add something work together alignment center going to copy it paste here alignment center okay and some text click here add this text go to the style and hit alignment center okay now what i'm going to do edit the section just click here and go to the style i will add this image background type image we have this image and go to the layout go to height minimum height just uh, 500 or 600 okay here goes it okay now what i'm going to do just edit this text to make white color just click here and hit edit text color white click here text color sorry text color white okay again i would like to edit this image just click on this edit section and go to the style and here you can see position center left or center center will be better here you can see and for attachment make it fixed okay then you will get this parallax effect okay and background overlay add color black and just okay that's cool that's all now i'm going to add this section what people say about this means it's a testimonial okay come here click here on column and add heading okay what people say about us
just alignment center and the divider I'm going to copy and paste the divider here okay just increase the size okay nice and it's a testimonial widget so what I'm going to do just uh, okay now i'm going to add this section testimonial what people say about us okay just uh, this time i'll import a template block section just click on it add template and select the category here you can see testimonials and i will add this one just click on here hit insert Here it is. Okay. Now, what I will have to do, add this text. So, just uh, drag it and drop here. What people say about us. make it center bring it center and i'm going to click here to copy it and paste here here you can see just increase the width okay that's all now what i'm going to do edit this testimonial section so just click on this pencil icon and here goes the items and here goes the style here goes the advanced step just go to the content and just additional option show arrow or height arrow paginate with dots okay image full and go to the slide part and skin bubble skin okay you can use it and layout image left image above just keep it the default and slides per view here you can see three so what i'm going to do make it three okay slide to a scroll two or three and go to the style and space you can increase or decrease the space you can add border radius okay just border color and go to the content you can change the content color image and navigation pagination size 3 i'm going to make it a bit bigger and choose the color to this color okay so that looks cool that's all so what is left for the about us page nothing just the footer and i'll create the footer at last in this lecture we will learn how to create this contact page let's see this one just a map and the contact form you can upload file okay you can your visitor can choose any file 
and choose the category okay phone number email address username and this button okay so let's see how to do that in the last video we created about us page and once we are done what you will do just come here and exit to dashboard okay just let me save exit to dashboard and go to all pages and here you can see contact us just click on edit and edit with elementor firstly we will just change the page layout to elementor full with just hit update now i'm not going to build it from the scratch just i'll use a template so click here your template button and say click on blocks and from the category click contact okay so we scroll down here it is we are going to use this on just uh, okay this on contact okay this one just click insert and here you can see so what i'm going to do at this background image just uh, click on this section edit just go to the style here you can see background click here and we are going to add an image just drop here insert media and here you can see and what I'm going to do the attachment should be fixed so that you can get this nice effect and go to the and you can change the position to center center just uh, top left or top right okay it looks good and size would be cover okay go to the background overlay so the color black color and minimize it okay that's cool now what i'm going to do change the color of the text just click on this text and go to the style just change the color of white and again come here go to the style change color to white and here click here style change color to white okay and here you can see the google map just click on this pencil icon and you will type your location here okay and if you type your location here the map will be shown here okay just click on this icon that's all and now see the next part this contact form okay i'm going to use a template just click here and go to the blocks and here you can see contact here 
here you can see the form just preview it and hit insert yes here it is so here you can see username email address source file everything what you will have to do just uh, you can access it from here just change the level change placeholder okay just column with 50 percent everything is pretty simple and what i'm going to do just remove the label now and to the email here you will add your email address where you would like to receive the data from this form an action after submit just keep it default email additional option just uh, okay so go to the style and you can just change the text color okay and typography spacing and field border color here you can see or change the border color to this or this okay so i'm going to change the bottom color bottom background color should be this as it is here okay and what i'm going to do add border radius of 4 pixel so now this button is a bit round and just for the hover i'm going to set the background color to this okay here it is animation shrink okay pause or none just message successful message color error message color error message color should be red so here it is red go to the advanced part you can add padding but it has already padding i'm going to add padding on the bottom for 100 pixel okay not necessary so i'm going to edit the section just click on here and just uh, go to the advance already you can see padding is added and if you want to add animation just click here go to the advance and here you can see motion effect in trans animation you can just add this okay just hit update so that's all for contact page it took just few minutes to create a nice contact page so i hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next video and before i start what i'll do just click here and exit to dashboard in this lecture i will show you how to create this footer section okay here i'm on the dashboard just uh, here you can see if you log into your dashboard you will find templates under elementor and you will find theme builder just click on theme builder and here you can see header and footer just click on footer and create your first footer just click on this add new footer button and name your footer okay and create template okay from here i'll choose a footer just uh, here you can see there are many ready-made footers okay just uh, i used this one okay just uh, click here to preview it okay just insert 
now you can see the footer okay first of all i'm going to change this uh, or just customize this logo and go to the style and logo size will be 80 okay just 80 pixel and if you would like to change this text just click here and you can change the text and here goes the social media icons this icon okay just you can change the color and go to the content click on each icon and you will be able to add link or if you don't like just click here and hit delete okay then let's see the next option get started you can easily edit here just click on the pencil icon and you will be able to edit click here and you will be able to edit it okay and the last here you can see all rights reserved and here you can see made with elementor just click on here and replace this word elementor with your brand name say for example i have written imranimo okay now uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this background color. Here you can see the background color is different. So just get this color picker. This is the color. And just click here to edit the section. Go to the style. Now change the color. Here you can see for the bottom just click here go to the style change the color okay now here you can see a wave top of it okay just i'm going to create this wave well just uh, again come here to edit this section go to the advanced sorry go to that style again and here you can see shape divider click on it and top is selected and click on type and here you will find wave and here it is just like that but I'm going to adjust the width adjust the height okay just this okay if you are happy with it just hit publish now here you will add condition i want to show this footer to every page just add condition include entire site and here you can see save and close your footer is live just have a look okay now if i go to the home page if i scroll down now i can see the footer okay again if i go to the services page i can see the footer if i go to the about us page I can see the footer if I go to the contact page still I find the footer okay friends I think I could show you how to build a website using Elementor Pro page builder that's the end of this course but I will try to keep any uploading any video or lesson later if I think necessary so that's all Thank you for watching. Hope you will enjoy this course and you will learn how to create a website easily. Thank you. Thank you for watching.